I've always liked sci-fi things, but I've never actually made anything sci-fi. So I figured I would give it a shot and make a sci-fi shield hit type thing that you'd see in like Star Wars or something like that. So let's go ahead and create this. So this project file will be available on Patreon if you want to grab it there. This will be the final project file. So can dive through everything that I've done, but let's drop down a geometry node. And I'm going to start off by just creating the shield and the material of the shield, because that's kind of the most important thing of the shield type setup. The shield is kind of the main thing. So if you don't have that right, you're kind of going to lose the effect. So let's start off by dropping down a sphere. I'm going to up the uniform scale, not to 13. But uh, something like three, just give us a little bit of a larger mesh here. I'm also going to change it to a polygon, and we want this to be a circular shield. So I'm going to up the frequency to like 200, give us something super smooth. And then we can drop down a clip because we only want half of the shield, and we should be all set with that. I'm also going to drop down a material node after that because we're going to be using that here in a second. Then I'm going to create another geometry node and we'll make a ground plane for this. So we'll change the size to like 50 by 50 and do something like that. I'm also going to set up a camera. Just to frame up our shield, it should be good there. And I'm gonna be using Redshift for this, so I have set up the Redshift wrap here, but you can use whatever you want to do the actual shading of the of the sphere and everything. The the shield material is pretty uniform. It's it's something that you should be able to create in pretty much any render engine that you use. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop down an RS material builder. If I can get this typed right. There we go. Material builder, and let's call this shield. And let's make a second one and we'll call this ground. And let's come back and make sure that we set up those materials in here. So we'll go shield and then for our ground plane, let's make an actual material node and just set up the ground there. I also am going to need some light. So I'm gonna come over and create just a light dome and we should be all set there. So at this point, let's go ahead and well, let's change the ground roughness to just be more rough. I'm also gonna make this a little bit darker for the moment. And then we can come back into our shield and just expose those parameters there. And let's go ahead and bring up the render view at this point. So bring up our render view and we should be all set with this. Let's go ahead and up the roughness of the reflection because I don't want those reflections of our lights on the actual shield. And then we need to create the opacity effect as well as kind of a glow because the shields in sci-fi films and stuff have a, a glow to them. And they're kind of see-through-ish, but they're, they maintain a kind of energy type look. And the best node to get that type of a look is going to be the Fresnel node. So you can create a Fresnel node in, in a lot of different renders. So like I said, it should work for pretty much any render engine that you choose. Now you can select any sort of uh, color that you want. I'm gonna go with like a bluish color. So maybe something like this. And then we're gonna pipe this into, we'll start off with the, actually just to get an idea of what it's gonna look like, we'll pump it into the base color here. And this, you can kind of see what we're getting with this. Now we're going to also be using this as the emission color, but we want to get this, this outer edge, this outer glow, which is your perpendicular color. We want this to be more of a glowish. So I'm going to make something like that, a lighter blue with that. And then we can wire this into our emission color here, come into our standard material and let's come in to the emission and let's crank this up. I'm gonna put it to like 10. And that gives us this type of a glow, but we need to create the actual opacity as well. And to do that, we can just drop down another Fresnel 
And I'm going to keep the settings all default because we want to have it kind of be see-through ish here where this darker blue is and we want it to be more visible here in the edges so let's go ahead and wire this into the opacity and you can see that that kind of gets what we're going for off the start but i want it to be tweaked just a little bit and as we start to change this index of refraction we get different looks so we can bring that lower and we're going to get a tighter look on the glow on the edges or we can bring this up and we start to bring in some of that glow in the middle as well and just a value that i found that works pretty decently is a value of three and that gives us a nice sort of glow to our middle as well as the edges here allows us to still see through the middle if i were to put something in the middle let's go ahead and just pause this if i were to drop down actually we'll just put a sphere in here and we'll merge these together just to demonstrate what it looks like I'm just gonna put that down for a second we'll just change this to polygon and crank up the frequency a little bit there and now if I restart my render you can see that we still get some visible something visible in the middle of it which is kind of the look that we're going for. So that's kind of the basis of the shield effect and you can go about changing the index of refraction for these, get the look that you're going for. Like I said, as you increase this, it's going to kind of make it more, uh, layer less see-through in the middle. And as you lower it, it's going to make it more see-through in the middle. So find something that looks good for your situation or whatever, whatever look that you're going for. But the Fresnel node is kind of the key. I'm gonna leave it on three. That's what I used in the scene in the start and in the next videos we're going to be going over the particle effects for this so the lasers coming in and hitting the shield the particles spawning along the shield and, and kind of being shot across the shield and then also the kind of lasers exploding off of the shield with the little particle effects on that so if you want to grab the project file like i said it's available on patreon and you can grab the final project file and you can kind of dive through node by node and see what i did uh, just before the videos come out if you're grabbing them off the get-go here but we will be going over all that in the future videos here so stay tuned for that but anyways thank you guys for watching and have a good day